So today we're learning how to play Infinity. That's what this looks like. The test board here. Cameron is. In the turn, it'd be over, and he'd be like, "Oh, the next turn." It'd be really dumb to do. Yeah. So in close combat, you go. Actually, it wouldn't be dumb to do because. This guy's close combat is 19. If he's got a really high close combat. This guy is, mm -hmm. is 14. 14. Mm -hmm. So you only ever roll one. I don't think you ever get more. Yeah. Okay. So it's just a face to face roll, except this guy has a special ability. We won't do it for him. Which he doesn't have it, so face to face. Which Cameron passed because it's under his skill, and I critted. So. Wait, what's it's your skill? 14? Yeah, I did. <laughs> so wait, you, your skill's 14 and your skill is what? 19. 19? Oh, wow, he is a ninja. But I beat Cameron because he rolled a 10 and I actually rolled a critical attack. <laughs> okay. So he hit me with his knife. So yeah. it's lower is better only to a certain point. Right. Yeah, you want the highest. Of the, the successful highest rolls. Successful yep. I have to say nice that is a bizarre mechanic. So his knife, and it works. he has... The damage is physique minus two. So you look at the guy's physique, which is, which is ten <laughs> minus two. So that's the damage that he does. So it's eight. eight. So his armor is one. one. So I just have to roll an eight or higher, which I don't. Which he fell. So hold, hold on a second. So you each hit each other. You just got a critical, and then he hit as well. Yeah. I hit, but his cancels out mine. Oh, it does, because it was the highest of the successful okay. rolls. Got it. So okay. he would end up killing that guy. Yeah. <clears throat> no kidding. So this ninja, like, pops out of nowhere and does, like, some anime katana rush. Right. So the and you just, like, him. dagger punch him in the skull. The thing that makes him slightly better that we didn't do, he has a special rule, which is martial arts level four, which means I always roll. It's not a face-to-face -face roll in close combat. So I roll, and if I'm successful, Which he is I kill 16. him. So now you I kill him just outright? Now I need just because you have martial arts? Armor. So wait a minute, so you don't die? So wait, with martial arts, you just reverse that? He like critted you, but then all of a sudden you're winning now? We didn't have martial arts. So we just, that we just, we just oh, okay. did this again as if he had martial arts. So you oh, okay. rolled. Hit, but then I passed my armor save with a 16. But wait a minute, with martial arts, with the roll of 14, the critical, and you just succeeding, that would have been different? Okay, with martial arts. <laughs> hey, hey, Blue Table fans. Got a uh, little surprise for you today. We are going to play a game of Infinity. We, being me, and the um, camera. We are playing the studio armies. I'm playing, I'm playing the studio Aleph army. Which we I got a uh, three tack Dakani tack lots, a diva, a Nasura, a Marut, and a hacker. Or no, a Naga hacker. Sweet. <laughs> and we got Cameron over here playing a Yu Jing. Yu Jing. So this is a sectorial army, which is Jap Japanese sectorial army. We have a uh, Domaru, Kempai. I tag the Oyoroi with the two crazy koalas. Two Aragatos. Oh, there we go. Those are cool. Ninja. <laughs> An Oni Waban. Uber Ninja. The gardener, right? And then a linked team of Kesotsus. All is coming around. Sweet. Okay, and tell us about the train. <laughs> so we took a bunch of. Train we have. This is a new set made by Joseph. This is the foresty areas. Um, we have some um, storage containers. Uh, we have an outhouse shed over there. <laughs> so cool. Here we go. Got a water tower. <laughs> From our orc mm -hmm. set. <laughs> and in Infinity, you kind of got to have like really dense terrain because you can get killed really easy if you get caught out in the open. So you need to be needs to be a part of your tactics is to just kind of stay in terrain so you're just not going blah 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 blah. So we've made it pretty dense. Um, we've not decided deployment yet. We have to roll for it. And that's one of the usual the first thing you do. So me and Cameron will do the roll for who chooses deployment. And what do you need? It's a uh, use the willpower of your lieutenant. 
So roll power of you, of your lieutenant. And so in infinity, you have to roll below. So my lieutenant's will power is 15. Okay. Oh, uh, mine is 13. So uh, basically, I get a plus two to this roll. Okay. And we use d20s for the system. Ooh. Cameron rolled 16, and I rolled a three. So this means I failed. Yeah, he failed because he rolled higher than his skill. So I passed. So now I get to choose on who sets up first and which side. So I'm going to or 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 I can choose to decide who goes first. I can make a choice. Um, I'm going to decide set up. So I'm going to take this side and I'll make Cameron deploy first. All right. Ooh. How do you build that? How do you feel about that uh, verdict there, Cameron? No likey. <laughs> no likey. Okay. I will come back after Cameron has done his deployment. So. We deploy 12 inches from the table edge. 12 inches in, yeah. And then there's a no man land zone up to middle, right? Yep. Oh, and that, how that works is you have no man's land up to middle and then to middle. Now, if Cameron has infiltrators, what he can do, do is he can deploy in his side of the no man's land. Right. And if I have infiltrators, I can do the same thing. Now, you can actually jump over that by getting in here. You need to pass, I believe, willpower for Zeke. It's willpower, isn't it? And if you fail the willpower, your guy is exposed, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll get into that more. Okay, so we're going to stop right now and then come back after deployment. Yep. Okay, this is Joseph here. I thought I'd come in and just kind of explain the train a little bit. So I don't think we've talked about this train before. It's our newest set of train. Um, the trees and forest flats and hills and that kind of stuff, those, um, it's kind of a multi-genre sort of train, but mainly designed for fantasy. And so it has large flats and removable trees and that kind of thing. Um, but uh, for Infinity, it works pretty good because you have a lot of Fun little places. And I, these rocks and stuff. I went hiking a lot as a kid in the high Uintas, and so that's where I kind of got my inspiration for these sort of hills. I'm just going to do some quick train shots so you can get kind of a sense of. I love these crates. Okay. You can get from AT43 is where the crates come from. So halfway is This is neat. This is with your painted figs. Mm -hmm. Is it two versus two here? Yes. Yeah. Oh no. Stairs, but doesn't have a memory card. So, what is the name of these bikes again? Arigato. Arigato? For thank you bikes? No, it's some guy looked it up. It's like wild something. Oh, so probably spe than, oh, so it's spelled different yeah, than Arigato. Different than okay. What does it say? How is it spelled? Oh, Araga, Aragoto. Okay, Aragoto. The E and the O. Yeah, they're impetuous, so it's... Thirsty for blood? Or wild and reckless. Cool. Something, something, something. Okay, say that again. What? Okay, they're playing just um, to the death sort of thing. There's no objective or scenario that's going on. And so tell us about we, it in the book. We can decide whether we're going to do like, once you've gone past 60% of your guys killed, then you're just automatically routed, or we can go to the last model. Depending upon what kind of troops you have, right? Right. To the last man standing. Okay. Last man standing? Yeah. To the grim death. 
Okay. Looks like Oregon. Or some other such green like oh, place. Oh, I thought you Grim Death was like Oregon. <laughs> like Oregon? Okay. Yeah, Grim Death. Okay, so, um, what happens now is Cameron, since I chose the point, he'll decide who goes first. Me! So Cameron will go first. So, you want me to show you my deployment here? Yeah, sure. Okay. We got the Oyoroi here behind a tree. Hugging, hugging some trees over here. My Lynx team, my Domaru, which is like. Space Samurai. My campaign is here. And my crazy bikers are over here on the far side. I guess we do a collective. If you'll notice, the ninjas are not there. So, if your model has TO camouflage, there's two types of camouflage. There's camouflage, TO camouflage. If you have TO camouflage, you can deploy in hidden deployment. Which, and how do you record that? Okay, so all you do is you just write down where they are. You have to be precise, like behind the thing, my side, or whatever. Nice. And then you can reveal, you can choose to reveal them at any time. At any time, right? Can you do an RO or only on your turn? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. Okay, and you are deployed. Can I just name your guys out again? Renzi. Hmm. Okay, tell us what you guys are. Okay, so I have a tack bot here, another tack bot, my third tack box right there. Got my Marut, my Asuras, the Deva, and then a Nagas who is camouflaged. Normally you have just a base um, to because you can't actually like see the guys. You, normally you're not supposed to know what they are, but in this situation I'm just using a marker to show that he's camouflaged. Like you were saying, Cameron has the TO camouflage. I have the CH camouflage, which is just, it's like a negative three to hit them, and you have to discover them before you can shoot them. Nice. Which we'll get into that when it comes up in the game. Okay, sweet. So Cameron's ninjas could be hiding anywhere in the hair. Up to what point? Did you... The, ha the halfway point. Did you do a willpower roll or just halfway? Okay. Yeah. I, I didn't do a roll, so... Okay. You know they're trying to do something when they try to roll it. Like, uh, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. So this game works with orders, which are pretty simple to calculate. You go through and you count your guys. This guy counts as one, because the two little dudes are just bombs that run around with him. So one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I get one extra one for my lieutenant. So I get nine orders. Which you, you can only use that one order on your lieutenant, or you can use it to make somebody else pass a guts roll, which is like a morale check kind of thing. Okay. Oh, and for orders, how it works is you can actually use those orders on any of your regular troops or any anything that is regular. So, like, if Cameron wanted to, he could use all his orders on just his tag, or he could split them up between his guys. Right. The One only, of the cool aspects about the game. The yeah. only things that, like, put hampers on it is you have, you got ten guys for a group, and once you get past that, you need to make a second group. You can only use the orders within the groups. Nice. And also, if somebody is irregular, they don't add their order to the pool, they only can use that order for themselves. And regulars can just combine their orders and use it any way you want. And, like, you can activate a guy. So, like, if I, I could activate this guy, move him up, I activate somebody else, and I could reactivate this guy, and just do that. Right. There's no rule, there's no really, you can do it really however you want. No restrictions, no any restrictions. kind of combination. Your lieutenant order is just for lieutenant, right? Just for lieutenant. Okay, so Here we in go. my army, I have to start with the bikes. They have a special they are... rule called impetuous, so they get a free order at the beginning of the turn that they have to use to move towards the enemy. If they can't see any enemy, which, yeah, they can't at this point, they just have to move towards the enemy deployment. Okay, sweet. So... And every unit has a first and a second move range they can move. Right. Yes, let's explain stats really fast. So we have 
can't see it very well on this, but there's a movement which has first value, that's your first movement value, and then your second movement value for that order. Then you have close combat, ballistic skill, physique, willpower, armor, biotechnological shield, and structure points. Or wound. The structure and that one has a wound. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. The structure is for robots and tags, and then wounds is for people. Okay, so for his order, he's going to do a short skill movement. And every order of eight has inches, and then that way, six inches. I don't think anybody will be able to see him. So every order has um, two skills you can perform inside of the order. And for most troops, you can perform them in any order. But in Petra's troop, they have to move um, their, uh, their first movement value unless you spend an additional order to stop them from being in Petra's. Look at that bridge. Okay. Well, because Cameron's guys are impetuous, they have to move, not just move, they have to move towards enemy units. Awesome. We're checking line of fire. Take an arrow and shoot you. Ooh, can you see? Yeah. Can you see him? Okay. You got a guy right there. Who can see him? So how it works is you have how it works is you have an active player, which is Cameron in this situation, and I'm the reactive player. So they have a system called an arrow, which is a, an arrow order. It's automatic reactive order. So when he moved up um, his first movement, I made it so I could see him. So I'm going to declare an arrow of shoot. Okay. With and which then, figure? As long as you have line of fire. With the Maru. I can see him through. Yep. So then Cameron can now say what he is going to do. Is that the Marine? Yeah. yeah. Well, I did both moves. Do you see him here, though? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay, so if my first order was to move, he reacted with shoot. I react back with shoot as well. All right. So because it's Cameron's active turn, he can fire his weapon at a full burst. Which is burst of four. And I can fire with one shot. Okay, sweet. Okay, so what's the distance here? So, ranged weapons have distance modifiers. So, from the middle of my base to the middle of his base is your guy 25, just under 25 inches. And, dang it! <laughs> so you're negative. Three, so I went from a plus three to a negative three. Dang it! Okay. So That's me, right. I have ballistic skill 15. I am in my medium range, which is a plus three. <gasps> and I am going to fire the explosive multi-heavy machine gun. Brown. Explosive. Oh. I'm serious? Okay. And I have my matism. So I'll take negative three. So it's a negative three. So it's that. just a straight 15. I have multi-spectral. Yeah! <laughs> so, of Trump. so minus is a negative three. Multi spectral level two means I don't have to apply a modifier for camo, optical disruption, and low visibility zones. So basically, you can see through all the funny little hazes and photon disruptor fields and that kind of thing. But. That doesn't ignore mimetism, so I'm still at negative three. Oh, yeah. awesome. Yep. Okay. Sweet. Good thing we checked. Okay, so I'm ballistic skill 12, but I'm at a minus three, so basically I'm ballistic skill. Nine. You need to roll nines and below to hit, and yeah, if you roll nines, nines they're critical, and you nine, need to roll what? I need what? to roll a 15. Okay. Okay, so how this works, I rolled higher, so I remove my dice. I rolled a 18, a 12. 15, that's the false hope dice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a 9, which is a critical. Yep. So you gotta check what kind of ammu uh, type of ammunition it is. I think Spitfire is just normal. Normal, right? Normal? Yep, normal ammunition. Okay. So he missed with these because it was higher than his roll. But hit with the 9. So now what happens is what is the strength of your weapon? Okay, the weapon has a damage of 14. 14. So you take that number. Then I take my armor of eight. So I need to exceed the damage of his weapon, which is 14. 
plus plus your armor. So he rolls and adds his armor to it. So and he's he got to try to beat it. The damage subtracted, the total damage minus the armor. Value. So he's so, a six. Dip. Which I passed it because I rolled a 13. Nice. Make him a sad. Okay. So now Cameron's going to do his next impetuous. Okay. Mm. Which I better get. He could move his his first unit actually again if he wants to. No, I have to do oh, impetuous orders first. Well, each unit has its own impetuous order. That's right. Okay. So for my first, I'm going to move. So I'm going to watch his movement from the line of sight of my model, see if I can see him at any point. Because if at any time, in, so it's not so much where you end up, but if you pass through a zone where you cleared your line of fire, then you can react to that. Yes, which I can't see him anywhere in this first movement. So then when he declares where he's going to go with his first, first movement, if I can see him at any point in that, I can declare an arrow. If I can't, I can't do anything. Okay. Which in this situation, I never saw him, so I can't do anything. So now Cameron will take his, he'll declare his what, second short skill is. So an order has two skills. Yeah, you can, you do, can do, with an order you can do two movement skills, which are basically short skills, but they're movement skills. Or you can do a movement and a short skill, which is like shoot, dodge, dodge, discover, discover, couple things like that. Lay a mine, things like that. And then they have a third thing, which is a long skill, which uses up your entire order. But you can do things like suppress fire, or you can turn your camouflage back on after you've got discovered if nobody can see you, that kind of stuff. A lot of options. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of options. And we've been kind of trying this out and muscling it out for a while. It's, it's actually okay. works. There's, works we haven't well. found very many holes at all, if any, if I can think right now. Okay, it's pretty secret good. bike. You probably can't even see it with the camera. Oh, yeah, check it out. Under the landing platform. Sweet. Nice. <laughs> Just beautiful things. One thing I have to say about Infinity, the game is fun, it's dynamic, nobody's bored. You're not sitting there where your guys are getting shot up, and the miniatures look really good. And just how it plays is very, very evocative. Like, you just see it like an action movie in your head, and it's like... You know, that's a boot table standard. You have to use the word evocative at least once in the video. Yep. <laughs> okay, Do it wrong. so I'm going to spend an order. Okay. This is one of his, his general order pool, okay. I'm going to move an inch over. Okay, um, which you're probably going to be able to see. So I'll de I'm going to declare an arrow to... You can see anything in there. Yeah, I'll shoot you back. Oh, okay. I'm bad feeling he has a gun that I have no idea about. It's just gonna. Okay, so he's gonna move here, get some cover. There you can see a delicious target. So, okay, there you go. We apply our modifiers. So, you measure distance? Yep. So, um, first thing I'm gonna check is my ballistic skill, which is 11. And my ballistic then... skill is 14. Okay, so the range between the two guys is what? Let's find out. Okay. Is 22 and a half. So 22 and a half. I'll look at my weapon. 22 and a half is in the long range, which is a negative 3. So I'll take a negative 3 from my 11. Ooh, and I'm at a plus 3 for medium range on my heavy machine gun. Okay. Okay. So, here is the roll. First, I am a ballistic skill. I rolled a 17, 17, so that's going to miss really no matter what. So I need 17 or lower, which is all. So Cameron hit with all four. Nice. And mine's removed because it was too high. Okay. So now, okay. the machine gun is damaged 15. So it's damaged 15. Now I'll find my armor. Uh, Zero. I, uh, you were a negative three for mimetism. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, so I was skill 14 and it was plus three. Your mimetism? So, so minus. 15. So, okay. So, so the 15, 15 doesn't hit. So I got so three hits. Okay. Sweet. 
So I'll apply my armor of zero to it, and I need to exceed the damage value. So I need to roll 16s or higher to make an armor save. So here is that roll. And failure on two of them. So I am the first failure, knocks me unconscious. So I basically fall prone, and then the second failure will kill me. So and that's a unique feature the of the Aleph? No, that's everyone. But no, oh, you have a doctor or whatever? Yeah. If you have a doctor, and somebody's just hit once, and they're unconscious, you can then go try and heal them. Yeah, so he's unconscious. Yeah, you have, even though he has one wound, he has a conscious, unconscious, and dead state. So, do you have a medic or anything? Did you have a medic? Okay. No, he's dead. Dead, dead. dead. Oh, okay. awesome. Yeah, he hit him twice. Oh, and these little boys move up with it. Yeah, they say anywhere inside of your 8 inch area of control, right? Yeah. So as a link team, these three guys are linked. I get to spend one order, and they all do the same thing. So they're going to move up here. All right, everybody's getting down on the table. I just this is a very, very realistic line of fire. What you see, what you get, sort of. So no, you can't see them now. Okay, so these guys. I'm going to see. Let's see if this one can see. Yeah. That's our first short skill. Which I can't see him, so I cannot declare an arrow. And they're going to move up again for their second. I love those utility vehicles. <laughs> those look so good. <laughs> so you know what? Uh, this guy's going to go... One thing I've done that's pretty handy is uh, what I've actually done is I went through the Infinity Wiki page and I've actually found the special rules that apply to my guys. And I've actually um, just copied, pasted, and then printed out the specific rules, like special rules. That helps a little bit with kind of learning the game, so you you really can learn and have this at a glance, so you yeah. don't need to yeah, flip through real stuff. Just a little quick reference sheet, very handy. I found it be quite useful. Yeah, one thing that's really cool about the website is they have an army builder on it. Yes, where and, and the link to the wiki page. Which yeah, is really you can, easy you can click on the little guys, and yep. you can click on their stats, and it'll bring up the wiki page. You can also download the actual PDFs of the rule books, too, from yeah. their website. So Real convenient. Yeah, it's very easy to get into the game. Yeah, and the rule book is gorgeous. Yes. Like, models, I saw one models, black and white models, picture. Yeah. <laughs> Models are not expensive. They're just really, really cheap. Um, they're really easy to get into it. Um, it takes a little bit to kind of learn the rules. It helps if you have somebody to help you out. Um, they have good tutorials as well. Yes, they actually have rules tutorials that they've posted on their, like, YouTube. Um, you can go and look those up. Um, and that's just where I recommend starting is the YouTube channel, the Infinity Wiki, and, like, kind of the Army Builder that they have on their website. Sweet. Okay, camera's doing his moving. What we're going to do is we're going to, um, we'll come back to you when his turn is done, unless he has some reactions that take place, and then we'll cover those. Okay, let me show you something cool. We're going to do what's called a cautious move. Ooh. So, this is a long skill. You spend one order. My whole link team's going to do it. So basically, if I can use my first move, which is four, if I can move four inches from cover to another, another place cover. that's in cover, he can't shoot. But if, if I can't, like if I can't see him at the start point and the end point, that means he can successfully do it. It's if, like they're barrel rolling around, you know. Yeah. If, <laughs> awesome. Now, if, if he did that and one guy ended up to where I could see him, then I can I can use can an arrow to shoot guy. at him. So they're gonna hop over here. Which is like that guy's safe. That guy's safe. Ooh, a 
it's going to oh, be. You probably want to park them right here and if you can. She's going to have to jump over there. Oh, you know what? Go to the door. There you go. The link team has to stay inside the zone of control of the team leader, and every turn you can no nominate a different team right. leader, which, which is eight inches. Okay. Dude, here's my team leader. Okay. He's not really knocked down. Just, That's the arrow pointing at him. Yeah. <laughs> team leader. Shoot this guy first, right? <laughs> and they actually have... Um, they have markers that you can download just from their website again. We come in the boxes too, which is cool. Yes, and they also come yes, with the boxes. Yes. Um, we just didn't print them off yet. We, we plan on doing it. It actually make them up really nice. Oh, do we have the templates for it too? Oh, yes. Let me... Oh, I played earlier, so I'll, let me um, oh, we'll grab those. Gone there. 